Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. Please remember to support us at support3gm.com. This next question is about water cooling tube sizes. I'm planning on doing a water cooling setup in the near future, and I wanted to know about tube sizes. I can't seem to figure out which size to use. Can you help me? Well, I hope I can. I've been using water cooling setup for many, many years, and there are a number of important things to consider when selecting a tube for your water cooling setup. Now, these normally come in long lengths, and you'll have to cut them uh, when you get the tube. A few things to consider before purchasing a tube. One of them is the inside diameter, which is the diameter of the tube on the inside. There's also an outside diameter, which is the diameter of the tube on the outside. And the difference between the outside diameter and the inside diameter is the thickness of the wall, which is important as well, because if the wall is too thin, then the tube will kink. And if that happens, of course, you're going to cut off the flow of the liquid, and then everything is going to overheat. But generally speaking, I would go with a tube with an inside diameter of 3 eighths of an inch. Um, if you want more flow, go with a tube that has an inside diameter of half an inch. I hope this answers your question, and keep your questions coming.